Welcome everybody, it's me Clashberry here and today I wanted to show you how to watch cable TV for free online. So the other day I came across this website called filmon.com, I will link it in the description, which has this concept of letting you watch a ton of different cable networks for free at a slightly lower resolution. So let me tell you an example. So if you're going to choose their free model, you're going to be able to watch the programs in 480p. But in comparison, if you were going to pay for them, you were going to be able to watch them in Full HD 1080p, I think, which I guess is fair. So anyways, the platforms supported are a ton of platforms. Just look at this list. Let me tell you, them. it is iOS, Android, Blackberry, Mac, Windows 8, Windows 7, Vista XP, and so on. Roku, Xbox, Facebook, Apple TV, HTML5, Amazon Fire TV, LG TV, and their own film on TV. So they have support for a ton of platforms, pretty much any that you can think of, which I think is great. So whether you're on Windows or Mac or on Roku or on Xbox, it has support for your specific platform, which is great. So let me show you how it works on Mac. So you simply press this download button and then it takes some time for the program to download, but then it should be downloading pretty fast. So then you open the app and it looks like this. So when you have launched the program, you can simply make it full screen. And then here are all the kinds of channels. So first of all, UK Live TV pops up and here are a ton of British channels, which you can watch for free, which is great. And then also there are sports, comedy, movies, for example, all kinds of television that you want to watch. And there are a ton of international television channels as well. So it's Indian, German, for example, which I think is great. And then you can also bookmark your favorite channels. So if you simply press this star icon, it appears under this tab, which is your favorite channels. So if you want to access your favorite channels easily, you can simply press this tab and there you go. So I can just watch what is on BBC One, for example, which is great. And then when it comes to the player, you can actually pause the live TV by simply pressing this button mm -hmm. and it pause it, it will take a while, but then it will pause it and then you can just resume it by simply pressing this button again, which is great. And then you can adjust the volume by simply doing this, which is great. And then right now I'm watching in 480p, which is free standard definition. But if I want to switch to high definition, I simply press this this button and it will take a while, but unfortunately after a few minutes you will have to pay for the high definition channels if you want to continue watching it, which I guess is how they make money. So in addition, if you want to check which programs are going to be airing pretty soon on the channel, you simply go to this TV guide button and here you can check which programs are going to be airing at a specific time. So right now Star Trek is airing and then after that one, another Star Trek movie and then Gunsmoke and NCIS and so on and so forth, which I think is a very useful feature of this program. So let's move over to iOS. So on the iPad version of this program, it looks kind of the same if you compare it to the Mac version, but one difference is that if, for example, if I watch BBC One, so when the program has loaded, you can see that if I make it full screen, there is no option to bookmark this program or something, which I guess is kind of a disappointment, but I guess it's not really that big of a deal because it's still a great piece of software. But I guess for some people it might be a letdown, but for me, I don't really care, so. You can still watch most channels online, which is great. And one difference for the better is actually that you, if you choose to watch the programs in HD, but you haven't paid for them, you can actually watch a full length program for like 20 minutes without them wanting you to pay for it, which I guess I think it's kind of a bug. But for me, I could watch a full length program for 20 minutes in HD without paying it. But in reality, you have to, which I guess is good for me, but it's not really good for the program. So you might be able to do that on iOS, but not on your computer version. So one last example, if you're going to download the program for Windows 10, you simply go to the Windows Play Store and you look it up and then you download it for free. So then you just wait for it to download and then you just look up the app and it should just load up for a few seconds and then there it is. So in this version, you have all of these channels available at first look. So you simply go to the first channel and there it is. So in here, it is the same concept. You have this TV guide at your right hand side and then 
the player in the middle. And then in this library, you can browse for all kinds of channels for your own specific need, which I think is great. So that was it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it and hopefully you can all watch some of your favorite cable TV channels for free now. And please let me know in the comments if it worked for you. And also let me know if you have any other programs or guides that you want me to do as a video in the future. So please let me know if you have any other suggestions or anything like that. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm Flashberry and I'll see you in the next one.